2022-23 Premier League season has been intriguing and entertaining to say the least. There have been shockers, record breakers, redemption stories and just all round amazing football being played from top to bottom. But as we draw closer to the end, all eyes are on the title race and we're all holding our breaths to see if Arteta can indeed break Pep Guardiola's dominance in the English top flight. Before we dive in, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you like our content. Fans of the Premier League always describe it as the most demanding and competitive league on the planet. However, the recent dominance of Pep Guardiola and his Manchester City team has left many of such fans eating their words and questioning their assumptions. Pep Guardiola has won the Premier League with City four times in the last five years, and they're in the race for yet another title this year, hoping to win it for the third time in a row. For years, fans of the Premier League have taken pleasure in mocking fans of clubs in other leagues calling them farmers and insinuating that their leagues are inferior in quality and competitiveness because they only have one or two dominant clubs, unlike the Premier League. But the story has changed since Pep joined Man City. With the Spaniards' continued dominance, the Premier League looks like it might just be the new Farmers League. The idea that the Premier League is the toughest league to win has been turned on its head by Guardiola. And this season, he seems poised to take that dominance to the next level by winning the Premier League for the third consecutive year. Something that has not been done since Sir Alex Ferguson did it with Man United between 2006 and 2009. For context, the Premier League and the Bundesliga are the only leagues out of the top six in Europe with a team currently in the title race who could possibly do a three-peat this season. So, who are the farmers now? Well, Mikel Arteta can still help the Premier League beat those farmer allegations. While the league has not failed to deliver on entertainment this season, with some shocks both at the top and the bottom of the table, all eyes will still remain on the title race until the end of the season. And the big question now is, can Mikel Arteta stop Pep Guardiola from turning the Premier League into a farmer's league? Arteta's Arsenal have risen from the shadows and displaced Liverpool as the regular title challengers. For the longest time, they also looked like they would easily displace City as the champions, but recent stumbles from them and a rekindling in City's form has put a little question mark over those title hopes as the season draws near its end. Things got really interesting when Arteta's boys travelled to Anfield and bottled a two-goal lead against Liverpool. That game essentially blew the title race back wide open, and with City having seemingly recently entered a new gear, gunners all around the world have begun to shake in their boots. At this point, if Manchester City win all of their remaining games of the season, they would be Premier League champions yet again. That statement alone is scary. Even more scary because Man City have been in a title race in each of the last five seasons, while Arsenal haven't been in one in 19 years. The fact is that they're new to this, and while they have been amazing since the season started, they have overachieved in the Premier League this season, and there's a tendency that they could break in the last lap of the title race. On top of that, Bottling a two-goal lead is not the kind of form you want to carry into the final few weeks of a title race against Pep Guardiola and his marauding men. So, we ask again, can Arteta really stop Guardiola from turning the Premier League into a farmer's league? The truth is, he still could. All hope is surely not lost. Just like we said for City, if Arsenal win all of their remaining games this season, they would be Premier League champions. This statement holds true for both clubs because of a small fixture coming up on the 26th of April. Manchester City will welcome Arsenal to the Etihad on that day for what will feel like a cup final. Yes, every game from now till the end of the season will be hugely important for both teams, but you just know that that game will feel like the grand finale. Whoever is able to come out of that one with all three points will very likely end up as Premier League champions this season. And considering the form they're in and the fact they've already won in their two previous meetings this season, it's easy to favour Pep's men in that game. Also, on paper, Man City is the better team, with players like De Bruyne, Grealish and Haaland up front and a very solid backline, you can realistically see them winning that match and then maybe the league. Arsenal, on the other hand, do not have these types of players. In fact, two of their most important players this season, Zinchenko and Gabriel Jesus, were second choice players at City for the past few years. But while this might feel like they're inferior, it also means that the boys are hungry to get one over a team that didn't take them very seriously. We can even partly attribute Arsenal, who didn't even finish in the top four last season, now challenging for the title to the energy and winning mindset both players brought to the team from their years at City. 
The rest of the team shares that hunger too. Young captain Martin Odegaard was heralded as a genius growing up, but struggled to find his feet at Madrid, and now he's fighting to finally claim respect to his name. Aaron Ramsdale used to be laughed at as a chronic relegator, but now he has the opportunity to prove all the doubters wrong by winning the Premier League, and possibly also the Golden Glove Award along with it. Surely, Ramsdale is hungry to complete the turnaround from relegator to champion. But if we're keeping it a book, while Arsenal have spirit and could draw motivation from different sources, they still do not have a squad as strong as City's. But we'll tell you what they have on their side, the fact that the Premier League is all they have to fight for now, while Man City are currently fighting for a European treble. And if they were to choose, surely Man City would pick the Champions League over the Premier League this season. So, if it comes down to it, Pep might decide to rest certain players for league games in order to field his best team in the Champions League. And if he does that, there are certain games where they could possibly drop points, like the games against Brighton, Brentford, Chelsea and of course, Arsenal. City will also be trying hard to win the FA Cup, so at least they're sure they won't be ending the season trophyless. Surely Arsenal can benefit from this overload of games on their rivals while they just have to keep their minds completely on the Premier League. Of course, City have shown that they can focus on three different competitions at the same time, but just one little slip is what Arsenal need and who says they can't get it in the next few weeks. Also, we talked about Man City having experience with things like this, but do they really? Yes, they have been in title races, but they have always been the ones being chased, never the ones doing the chasing. In 2020, Liverpool were runaway champions, so there wasn't really any chasing done. Other times, it has been City at the top at this time of the season. So, for the first time, they're chasing a team down for the title. So who really knows how they'll do? Arsenal might be suffering some injury blows with the likes of Niketia, Tomiyasu and Saliba currently out injured. But hey, they're still top of the table and the league is still very much theirs to lose. But while they're going about their remaining games of the season, both teams have to be conscious of scoring as many goals as they can while also conceding as little as possible. Because there's also that possibility that the league could be decided on goal difference. So, for the third time today, we'll ask the question again. Can Mikel Arteta stop Pep Guardiola from turning the Premier League into a farmer's league? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. See you in the next video as usual.